Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk gang. Give it all the really the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So today was a big day for Jada Youngin and his family. Pretty much today was the day that Jada Youngin actually got laid to rest. And not only did he get laid to rest, everybody showed up and showed out for his funeral, including his long friend goes by the name of Youngin Ace. Now Youngin Ace said, you know, he was actually getting harassed uh, like really, really bad by the feds simply because of who he is and of course who Jada Youngin was. And of course they were going to have it full of police and feds and stuff as well because they don't want anybody else to spin the block kind of like how they just arrested jada youngin's brother fg famous because he went to go spin the block after they killed jada youngin anyways here goes footage of them allegedly harassing them for no reason ain't need did look how they do your boy man we had a mother in funeral bro i don't The 12s are just standing there like, let one of you niggas do one thing and we gon' all attack anyways. As you can see, the people that's actually at the funeral, they can tell that, you know, it's like kind of like a hostile environment and they don't feel like, you know, the 12s are being there being helpful. Like at most funerals, you know, you may have the 12s just escorting the car to let the cars through. But in this case, it's kind of as if the 12 is like, you know, getting ready for war, looking at them as if they're about to go to war with them anyways. And it looks like once Young and Ace was actually leaving a funeral, he got pulled over and they actually arrested his security guard. Pulled him over for no reason. Like they arrested the security guard and all that. We over there having fun at the little uh, thing over there. So whenever he was alive, he was at war with the Screets and also the 12 as well. And now that he's actually dead, it's like he's still at war with not maybe not the Screets anymore. Well, yeah, technically still the Screets because everybody's still spinning and spinning. But also looks like he's still at war with the 12 because they won't even let him have a peaceful funeral. Now, here's the thing about it. You got to think about it like this. Based off the fact that whenever J.D. Young got killed, literally a couple minutes after he got killed, it was reported that everybody found out there was another shooting. And since the fact that they actually arrested his brother for that the fg famous guy really really close friend is kind of like a brother will say anyways i'm sure they do not want that to happen again they do understand that you know whenever rappers have these funerals or anything like that you know people are more than likely will come and spend on a funeral especially if it's a guy like jay the youngin who they've been trying to kill for so long that they finally actually got and then it's in the fact that they've are you know somebody seems like jay the youngin's crew has already retaliated so it seems like you know talking about they are there for the protection but then of course they probably Derek and they don't like J.D. Youngin as it is. He already said a lot of his music, the 12 was already on him, always on him, always harassing him and stuff like that. So, you know, the protection hand is what they're going to use for the defense of actually being there and doing what they were doing. Anyways, let me know something. Do y'all think the 12 was there, young time I just doing their job? Or do y'all think there was some excessive force? Also, do y'all think that they were harassing them on purpose? Or do y'all feel like, you know, J.D. Young and family was probably going overboard? And then also, you know, the fact that they actually pulled over Young and Ace and took his security guard to jail, which to me, that's kind of like, whoa, why they take a security guard to jail? He's supposed to be there to protect and help and stuff like that, whatever they're supposed to be doing. He's supposed to be doing the same thing. But they did end up taking him to jail. Now, as more details details come out about why he actually got arrested of course it'll be reported anyways let me know some coming down below let me know what you think about this entire ordeal i'm out